Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Another lovely day in Pattaya, Thailand. So today exercise is going to be walking, walking through the beach. I'm going to try to walk all the way to the hill where is the sign of Pattaya and then come back. So probably it's going to be, I don't know, 10, 15 kilometers, give and take, maybe 10, maybe 12, I don't know. But today's exercise is going to be walking. Uh, probably once I come back, I'll go to swimming pool. But enjoy the journey, guys. Lovely day. It is sunny. It was raining last night, but now it's lovely. And my coffee is going away. I have a medication in my mouth, but the coffee is gone. I feel good. And let's do this. By the way, it is 8 a.m. in Pattaya, Thailand. So I'm just walking shortcut to the beach. So I'm going to walk through the beach. Just I don't want to go through this street. And I, that's why I'm walking this way. It is lovely today, lovely. After rain, it was raining last night, all night. There is nothing like morning walk by the beach. I love it. I really love it. And when I saw the weather is nice, not too hot, I said, okay, instead of going to gym today, you know, maybe tonight I'll go to gym. So I thought nice weather, it is not hot, is the best time to walk through the beach. So obviously they're cleaning the beach here and setting up the chairs for the evening I believe a lot of people coming here I really like these girls that working very hard you know it's just a manly job, but working, you know, they don't want an easy job. They don't want easy money, sorry. I have a really respect for them. What that guy taking picture of? Sabarika, good morning. Oh, some people swimming already. Oh, yeah. 
That guy is already have his Oh, this girl's obviously taking pictures. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Obsessed with pictures. Why Asians are obsessed with the pictures, man? Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, everywhere. Like in Brokai, guys, in Brokai. Like daytime, nighttime, anytime. In Philippine Brokai. Just everybody dressed up. Dressed up. It's just like dressed up. You know, top to bottom. And just taking pictures. Nothing else. They don't do nothing else. No swimming, no nothing, no activities, just the pictures. Ah, look at this beautiful beach. I love it. But don't throw your garbage. I like it. People get up early in the morning here. Some of the tourists even. That's lovely. We're from China. So much Chinese. That freaks me out. Freaks me out. So many. I feel like I'm in China or Canada. Canada is like that too. There's a pataya orange sign right there on the hill, but unfortunately, a little bit gloomy weather, so you cannot see it. I guess. Oh, well, look at this. This is a condominium, I guess. Yeah, look at it. It's a luxury one. It is, I, I guess it's a hotel. I don't know. Hotel or condominium or whatever. Whatever it is, it is really beautiful. And the swimming pool was right there. Infinity swimming pool. So there is two swimming pools. One of the downstairs, one of them on the third floor. You see, I love it, guys. Take a look at this. There is even plug here. Look at it. There is a plug. Look at it. It is a plug. Maybe you're going to say, well, why you have a plug fantasy now? I don't have a plug fantasy. I was suffering in Indonesia with the plug. Some of the hotel had only one or two. That's it. Wow, look at this one. I guess this is a super luxury. Oh, wow, look at this villa. I don't know what this guy is doing. There is a lot of dogs in the beach. Yeah, thanks God. Most of them friendly.
another hotel here. It's a nice hotel, wow. This is another either condominium or hotel with a nice swimming pool. Wow, these people they have a fantastic view of beach. Look at it. You sit in your balcony and then look at it. You have this view. This is what I'm saying why I love Thailand, guys. Look at it. This is pretty much, if I want to take this road, this, uh, I cannot walk after this, guys. So I, I could, but it is not easy. So the beach almost, I have to take another road in order for me to go to the other, uh, other side. So this is why I love about Thailand. This is a hotel right here. And it is a nice hotel so you can walk through here and access the other side without absolutely no problem no security no drama no gun nothing in Philippines you can get shot if you do that seriously you can get shot because one security guy here with the gun, the other ones there, one there, one there, one there. They are out of their mind in Philippines. Like I'm thinking now, what tourists can do? What, what is my purpose? Like I'm gonna just walk and go to the other side. And the hotel doesn't mind. No security, no drama. Even when people see you, they say, Saparika, good morning, good afternoon, whatever. But in Philippines, Guys, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. That's why I'm saying I love Thailand because the freedom, the respect that you're getting, no drama, no nothing. You know, like yeah, well, what? I'm a tourist. I want to just walk through the beach. You know, and nobody here with the gun to stop me. With the gun. You know, I was in a very nice hotel and I couldn't even walk through the beach. I was staying in the same hotel, but I had access to one beach. I cannot go to the other beach. It was like mind blowing. That's why I hate Philippines. Like now when I'm thinking and when all these negative memories pops up, for example, I was walking through the beach and I was going and trying to you know, sometimes it's a dead end, you cannot walk. And I was trying to go through the hotel or resort, to see five guys with the gun approach a very rude way, like you're going to steal the hotel. That's why I hate Philippines. And that's why I love Thailand. Look, now I'm gonna walk through this resort and go. That's it. There's no drama, no nothing. Safety, safety, safety. If you're traveling, your number one priority needs to be safety. And if you want to have a nightmare life on your vacation, go to Philippines. But if you want to have a lovely time, come to Thailand. Look, guys, I'm just walking through here. There's a tennis court there. And people can walk through here. Go to the other side. Because in one part, they're a little bit challenging. You cannot walk through there. So that's simple. 
There is no drama, no gun, no security, no shooting. Oh man, I hate Philippines. This is a very nice hotel too. Guys, that's it. Now I'm on the other side. Now I can continue easy way, you know. Without breaking my leg. That's it. That's the whole purpose. But unfortunately, in bloody Philippines, they don't understand us. Nightmare, man. Nightmare. Philippines is a nightmare. Don't go to Philippines. I can deal with everything in life, but the nightmare that I saw in Philippines, nobody's supposed to go there. Nobody. Oh, a lot of people sitting here, so I want to go and see what is going on, guys. Look at this beautiful Thailand, beautiful Pattaya. Man, this country is heaven on earth, on all aspects. Oh, look at this beautiful view. Hello. Oh, look at it, the beach is very clean. That's fantastic, man. And I'm sure there is a lot of people coming here and 
throwing a lot of garbage, but seems to me, uh, you know, they keep cleaning after them. Oh, I'm so surprised. 8.30 in the morning and a lot of tourists walking around too. Okay, let's go to sidewalk. Pattaya in the morning. Lovely, I love it. Hey, hey, good morning. When it's quiet, not crowded, I really love it. Some of the restaurants slowly, slowly opening up. But obviously it's too early. I, I hope I get enough battery when I reach at the hill uh, under Pattaya sign. Today I gotta do my haircut as well. Today plan is a haircut. We are almost close to Soyo 6. This is a famous street that all the bars and stuff like that. So the girls grab you, grab your stuff. I don't know, I don't enjoy it, man. I've been there for 
few times. I don't know why it's so famous and usually it's empty. It's just like you see two people inside and million girls, millions. All of them young. I don't know what is their income, like how they make money. Because if there is no customer, if there is no if there is nobody there to buy drinks, I don't know, maybe they do freelance after work. But what is the point to stand there? Somebody obviously paying them. I don't know man. I don't get it because any time that I've been there, maybe more than like 2,000 girls between, I don't know, 20 bars or whatever. And you see sometimes like two customers or three customers sitting inside, that's it. So I don't really get the concept how they're making money and how the bar owner makes money. I don't know, man. Maybe at night gets busy after 12 because I never ever been there like midnight or anything like that usually like yeah this is the one soya six this is a famous soya six guys yeah there is i don't know maybe 30 40 bars there yeah maybe more but seriously nothing nothing happened i don't know probably after midnight probably when the people get drunk and get crazy they go there but before midnight i've been there a few times few times like daytime and few times like around 9 10 nothing happening guys mostly girls like each bar has like i don't know 50 girls 20 years 40 girls Probably it's gonna rain again. Holy shoot. It was raining last night all night. But it's the perfect weather for walking. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna keep some of the battery when I reach under the hill to show you guys the sign of the Pattaya. Hi. Oh guys, this is stage. It's just a concert stage. I don't know if it's finished or they're setting it up. Oh, something happening here. Let's see. There is a big event coming up with the concert. I don't know if it's finished or just set up for the event. Okay, no, I guess it's not started yet. Oh yeah, look at it guys, concert at the beach. Yeah, it is lovely, probably it's going to be busy event, just I have to find out what it is. Front of Hard Rock Cafe. So in case if you want to come, it is front of Hard Rock Cafe. Right there. Pattaya sign from here. I hope you guys can see it. It says Pattaya City under that tall building. Oh wow, something happening at the beach. Look at this setup. I have to find out what it is. Oh yeah. Ah uh, yes, the beach festival. Something that there is a lot of concert is gonna happen. That's good, I'm here. So I can film it.
Oh, International Physic, uh, Music Festival. Oh, nice. Oh, man. That's good that I'm in Patea. Weekend, on weekend. Oh, man. Wow. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. I'm so happy. So I'm going to have a nice content. It's going to be international music festival. So definitely it's going to be very fun because it's not going to be only Thai music. is going to be fun 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 and I'm glad that I'm here Central Pattaya Mall and, and the top is the Hilton Hotel. I love the weather. So windy, it's going to rain, but it's so easy to walk because it's not hot. I hope you guys can see the sign now, Pattaya City. So we're gonna go there. Personally, I don't like this part of Pattaya. This is the part that I really don't enjoy. At, the, at night or daytime, it doesn't matter. I really don't enjoy this part. This is the, this is the area close to walking street. So if you haven't been here, but it is, it is not my favorite spot, especially at night or hotels here or whatever. Hello. 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 How are you? Hello. So I'm sure you guys can see the sign right now. This says Pattaya City.
everybody, somebody dropped this sunglass here. Yeah. It was right there. Maybe somebody lost it. I don't know. Maybe somebody come back and ask. You know, just yeah. leave it here. I find the sunglass and I just left it there. And he said, take it. I said, no, man. Maybe somebody coming back and ask for it, or look for it, so give it to him. I love morning walking and I'm getting used to keep my stick down I noticed for past video past few videos that I'm doing a good job because I know I used to keep it like this learning process my friend learning process Personally, I don't like this area at night because all these girls here and a lot of, you know, those type of tourists that come in here and it's just like, I don't like it. Even I, I haven't been here very late at night, but I'm sure there's a lot of problem at night here. But even when I walked like 9, 10 o'clock at night, I didn't like it. I don't like the area in general. All the hotels and everything is just noisy next to the bar and it's just... Not, not my type. Not something that I would stay or hang out. But probably I have to walk to the next street to find a haircut. Uh, because there's a lot of barber shop here. And since I'm here, probably I'm going to get it done. Why would I go back and then come back again? This is a long walk, guys. I'm coming, I'm walking from North Patea all the way to here. So let's get it done now. I'm sure you guys can see it. Paraya City. Okay. Let me see what is the time. All the everywhere is close. 9.15. Hopefully I can find somewhere to cut my hair. Yeah, that's the best things. Instead of going and coming back again. Famous walking street, right there in front of us. At night, I cannot film it like this. Here is crowded as hell.
It says Boys Town. I don't know. Maybe it's Gay Street. I don't know. Everywhere is closed, guys. Even the massage places are closed. 9.15 in the morning. I hope I can find somewhere to cut my hair. I don't want to come back all the way here. This is a Persian food. Yeah, right. Looks like Indian food. Some of dogs are not friendly here. Yeah, Pattaya is so beautiful in the morning when all this store is closed. <laughs> you guys, in central Pattaya is very busy. Very, very busy. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of cafes, a lot of hotels. But it is not for me. This is a nice hotel. But at night here can be very, very busy and crowded and noisy and the bars and the music and boom, boom, boom. And it is not for me. But if you want to come, you know, if you want a busy area, this is a busy area. There's a lot of hotels here too. A lot of bars, a lot of strip clubs. See, this place can be very noisy at night. That's why I don't like it. And everywhere pretty much here is open compared to, you know, other places because it's very busy, crowded area. See guys, here is extremely busy. And there is a lot of tourists here, lots. Most of the restaurants is full. Oh, there's a subway here too. There's a lot of cheap hotel here in this area. A lot of night clubs. Uh, it's just a crowded place. But there's a lot of tourists here. I see lots. The rip off. 20 baht for a level of pineapple, but what are you gonna do? This is my breakfast. You'll find somewhere here, haircut, but it is closed. And the price is reasonable, 150, 300. But unfortunately, it's closed. <coughs> Turkish kebab. I've been here before, I have a video. There's a lot of bars and restaurants and stuff like that here at night, obviously. There's the barber shop, I wanna cut my hair. This Pasha kebab is my favorite. A kebab restaurant in Pattaya. Uh, this area is extremely crowded, guys. Turkish restaurant and breakfast. There's a lot of Turkish restaurants.
lot of sports bar, a lot of things going on here. But where is the haircut? I want a zero on the side and really short on top. So keep the same style but very short and zero. Skip it.
thought I'm not really satisfied 100%, but I asked for very, very short, but okay, well, I don't know. Uh, sometimes, you know, just miscommunication. I had to repeat myself like three times. I want to short, short, short. But sometimes, you know, it is not easy to communicate. Anyway, I got my hair cut. Now I'm heading back to my hotel to take a shower and take it from there. Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching again. Keep watching and subscribe to my channel. Oh, man. Yes. Disaster. I paid $2.50 and there is a lot of haircuts here. $150. I don't know. A little bit of rip off and I wasn't really satisfied. honest with you now I'm in the mall terminal 21 so since I'm here and it, it is like almost lunch time and I didn't have no breakfast so I'm gonna go to upstairs to pier 21 and I'm gonna have pretty much my lunch brunch I would say so and the haircut is not that bad man I was just from the mirror in the washroom and I saw it no it's good it's good I like it But sometimes because of the miscommunication, sometimes like I told her like I wanted very short in the beginning she didn't do it. And I said no ma'am, I want it really, really short. So and she got a little bit upset and she had to redo it. But I don't know, her, her English was very, very good. So but sometimes they make decision based on what they want to do instead of you know listening to to the customer. And I got a little bit upset because I, I clearly I told her like I wanna uh, zero fade and I want it really short on top but unfortunately sometimes they don't listen you know they do whatever they want to do now guys I'm starving really starving I walked a lot a lot so I deserve it to have a nice I would say lunch probably the next meal that I'm gonna have is for dinner I'm just trying to cut the carb and rice and everything else but um, unfortunately everything here is based on rice but it's okay i'm gonna go and work out again and it's so quiet pier 21 it's lovely to have a lunch when it's not too crowded here right there you guys so i have to pay the fees to get the card and then go choose whatever i want to choose hey guys i got my plate Again, some chicken, some beans, eggs, broccoli, rice. I really like it, especially if you come in early in the morning, like first time for a lunch. Everything is fresh, nice, clean. I'm so starving. So quiet now. Usually here gets really, really busy, but crazy busy. Okay, if you don't want to see too many people, come early. 